So to continue our construction project from previously, you'll see that we've put in the first two activities for our project, but tasks three, four, and five are not needed in this phase of work. Then we go on to the next phase, which is doing the walls and the roofing. Unfortunately, if we delete those lines out of there, just right click and delete, we end up with error messages because we've taken the reference point away from there. So we will later on need to correct those reference points and improve our project because the Gantt chart disappears. So we can paste our next few tasks in for doing the walls and roofing. So framing, installation of windows and doors, roofing, external walls. Copy that, paste it into these tasks. And the format of course has disappeared if you want to format paint in them so they come back the same. And then you note down whoever is responsible for those. So we'll continue on with Bill as the site supervisor. Now what you also notice here is progress. Saying here this is 50% of the way through the progress. It's of course 0% of the way because we haven't started our project. So you will need to change activities to zero as of course we haven't done anything just at this particular point in time. From here, you need to start to look at how long each phase is going to take us. So the task grading and site preparation on our initial information sheet, we're starting it in week one, finishing it in week one, and it's given us seven days of work there. So starting in week one, project start is the same as the start date there. Ending it, so it's plus three days. As you can see, we'll add six days because that will then include days seven as the initial start day. So it'll be the start day plus six days. The next one, foundation construction. That starts week two and finishes in week four. It's actually 21 days, so effectively it's three weeks. So it will start at the end of that week which is F9 and then the cell reference here will be E10 plus 20 which will then give you the full number of weeks. You'll see that they overlap there so you could in fact go F9 which is cell F9 plus 1 and that will slide it along. So you can now see the segments of your chart beginning to show up and the blocks of time being allocated.